Hello Internet, Ben here with a cat on his lap and an update for 256 wizards. Hopefully the cat doesn't cause too much problems. Alright, too many problems? Too much problem? Whatever. Let's go. So this is now, and I'm just doing this one player mouse and keyboard. Uh, again, Game Pass supported. I did change a little something, I might as well mention. So I was noticing what I had done, I wanted some way for you to stop shooting with the mouse. Um, with the gamepad, it's easy because you just stop pointing the right stick in a direction, you just let it go back to center. Um, so for mouse, I was, you know, thinking along those lines, I was like, well, if the cursor is close enough, then stop shooting. But that led to weird situations where, like, you'd be right up next to a vase and, you know, mousing over it, expecting to shoot it, but because that was so close, you weren't shooting at all. So now it's clicked to stop shooting, um, which I think is going to be a lot better. So that just was always kind of messing with me. And I was like, man, if I've made this game and it's messing with me, then it's going to mess with other people. So... Like, I could just imagine showing this game to people and them getting confused about that. Anyway, so here is the new button mechanic. I, I'm trying to remember if I showed this off in a previous video, uh, but, um, oh gosh, I'm caught on the face. So this level now that we're playing, it goes through all four stages of, what was it, Kisho Tenketsu, assuming I'm saying that remotely correctly. Here are new little critters that like to fight you. This is uh, developing the, the button theme, right? we got to kill monsters. I don't know if you would quite call that a development uh, really, I'm cheating and introducing multiple mechanics, too. I mean, we've already introduced shooting, right? Um, you could almost say that this is two mechanics going through um, Kisho Tenketsu. Right? Tenketsu, yep. <laughs> like, on it, I'm looking over to the other monitor to see. It's like, where, where is that? To see how it's said. Um, and then, like, where you emphasize, like, what was it? I watched the Tatami Galaxy, but I think I was saying Tatami? Or is it that you say tatami and tatami is incorrect? I don't remember. One of my friends who knows more Japanese than I do, particularly when it comes to tea, um, was so confused, and then he realized what I was trying to say and corrected me, and now I can't remember, so there you go. Um, anyway, so, so and now here's the twist. The button runs from you. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping that's going to be a wonderful and delightful twist. I think that's, and now it won't move anymore. I want like a little squished appearance for them, like with their legs just out in all funny directions once you've stepped on them. Um, they look kind of like computer chips right now, which is weird, but I, I don't know. I, I, like, I, it feels a little silly right now. The game is in such an unpolished state, too, and you're just watching it and not experiencing it. I have to get people to play this because I feel like it's a great twist. Like. I want to see someone walk up this button and watch it run away from them and then be like, hey, <laughs> come back here, button. I don't know. I think it's a great twist, but I'm going to have to play around more. Um, so the side rooms now contain treasures in them always. Right now, the only treasures that it can generate are three copper coins. Um, I'm going to want different kinds of treasures, not just coins, but also, you know, items and things, which I haven't even begun to implement. So that's going to be something I need. Uh, here's the conclusion. We have a combination of uh, little critters and buttons again. Um, this time needing two buttons to open. I think I, I showed this off before. So that switch over there opened this first gate. I'll just close it again to demonstrate. Um, so you've got to find, right, it's closed over there. you got to find both switches. Oh my, what a conclusion. Um, that's okay. The conclusion, hey! The conclusion is meant to kind of be easy and also a culmination of the skills learned. So shooting things, buttons, Hopefully it's, it's you know, not a problem at this point. You've dealt with worse. Uh, and then you go on to the next level. So, and this is snakes, I believe, and the snakes are as incomplete as always. Let's see. Well, and it can go through several... Oh, God, there's a snake. They're hard to see. That's a problem this, that I've known about. The snakes are... Uh, the contrast is, is not great enough. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Let's just run around and see if we can find some more level types. Um, the side rooms, okay. The side rooms should occasionally contain... Um, rooms with mechanics that you have, uh, you know, met before, if that's the right word. So it's possible that side rooms now could contain a button room. Um, and in the next level, which I think is fire sticks or maybe ice, uh, because snakes aren't really a thing, it's not going to matter as much. Um, actually, so this is a room that can have buttons, it just by random chance doesn't. It's one of those rooms that has a, a variety of, of possible arrangements just by some small random tweaks, so it didn't happen to have buttons, that's too bad. All right here's the guy who throws, you know, throws little snake eggs. It's still not working. Uh, the biggest problem is it. I mean, well, first of all, he just throws the snakes on the eggs on the same spot. So there's so many snakes, and they're all trying to move. But every time they try to move, they're like, "Oh my goodness, I'm overlapping with an existing snake." Um, I can shoot these until there's only one left, but whatever. It's not. It doesn't matter. Um, he's not done, right? Obviously, that's a problem. 
Uh, he can die eventually. He's got to shoot more. He's supposed to be a little boss. And that's kind of going to be like the twist for the snakes, right? Is that... Um, or was it the develop? I think it was meant as the twist. Uh, that, uh, you know, oh, there's a guy that throws snakes. Um, so anyway, let's keep on going. See what other mechanics we can find. Uh, so here's fire sticks. Now, I believe this isn't introduced. That seems kind of fast. No, maybe not. Okay, there are faster fire snakes. So this is the introduction of fire sticks. Um, I haven't tested this yet myself. Um, hopefully we will see... Oh, this is still introduction. And the same layout, I'm a little disappointed. That's something I should probably specifically prevent. Um, okay, so here's development, right? We've got fire sticks, two fire sticks swirling in opposite directions. Give me those coins. Oh, and this is even a side room, so that's kind of exciting. We've got treasure and a, and a development room. Yeah, that's definitely faster, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Um... Nothing here. That's kind of curious. I don't know why that is. Oh, I I think I intentionally placed breaks like to pause um, so that you don't have to do. I'm surprised. Little I don't. Never mind. I'm a little confused. You know, all this again. I haven't tested all this. Uh, and actually, yeah, I I think that's probably fine. What it was generating there. It's just seeing the same one over and over again. It's kind of messing with me. All right. So this is again developed. I think that the way it's again. It's been a long time, but I believe the fire stick level as I have it designed currently is it does like. A couple introduction rooms, you know, a, a break room, and then um, like a development, and then development, and then maybe another break, and then the conclusion, something like that. Um, okay, and here's the twist, right? Sorry, so there's also a twist, uh, which we should go on through. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this the hard way, just to uh, just to uh, show off the twist. So some things that I changed, which I would like to talk about. It used to be, I'm going to get myself killed, and that's a bad thing. It used to be that um, every fire stick could be at a totally random angle. That was bad because you could easily have, like, an impossible situation. Now this should be totally possible. Like, they're specifically arranged, right, to be in this pattern so that there is a path through, um, just based on their starting orientation. So that's something that I have a little more control over now when I'm designing the levels. Basically, my choices are a combination of how fast should it go, normal speed or twice speed, um, and... Uh, starting at what angle, 0 degrees or 180, you know, just the opposite direction. Um, I don't know if I'll need more than that, and there's a little bit, it adds like a little bit of wobble to, to each individual fire stick. Um, but yeah, that's so far seemed to have allowed me to create uh, a little more controlled kind of difficulty for these things. Yeah, so we're just going to have to go around. That didn't work so well. That's my fault. I probably should have waited and looked and, and seen. Um, and I believe next we will have ice. So this looks like another break room. Run, run, run. And, you know, the break rooms should have, like, enemies and things. They're meant to be a break from, like, the mechanics and the learning. And just, like, you know, maybe there's some little dude to fight. Some little room. You know, just, just passing time. Just, ah, it's time to blow away some enemies. Um, all right. Gosh, don't know where to go. I think that's another... What was that? Just, like, a develop? I think I'm getting an awful lot of these rooms. <laughs> I'll have to look at how the uh, how it's deciding to um, lay out the levels, like the the overall. What would you call that? Just the overall flow of the level. All right, and here's a conclusion. Um, and we've got this funny business, which isn't even much of a threat. Oh well. And then apparently it crashes, probably because I don't have enough types of rooms. Interesting. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> I was hoping it would get to ice, but I think what has happened... For some reason, my vi my Visual Studio... This doesn't have to me at work, but the copy I've got here at home... Sometimes it won't show me w the exact line where it crashed until I, like, quit Visual Studio and restart it, and then when I run it, it actually shows me where it crashed. I don't know. It's very bizarre. Um, I looked online at one point, but anyway. Uh, let's say that that's it. That was not how I was expecting to end it. That's kind of a poor story arc for a, for a recording, perhaps. Where was the Kisho Tenketsu in, in, in this? It was nowhere. Um, but I, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how things are coming along. Um, you know, it's really hard without, like, the, the items that you're going to get um, and the monsters. I need more graphics to decorations. I, I, we need more polish, I feel like, to really get it to feel cool, you know? It, it, it lacks that done feeling, even if, like, the, the button level, I would consider that pretty much done mechanics-wise. I mean, we would like some, maybe some loot and other things, but it just doesn't feel done, and I think that has to do with the, with the graphics and some other polish. Perhaps the controls are something I'll, I'll need to 
um, really dig into and, and think about. Um, but yeah, I'm still missing a, a little certain something. Uh, and I don't know, that's something I'll continue to look at for sure. Uh, but my bigger focus kind of right now is just getting the, the core mechanics and, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, thank you for watching as always. And uh, I will post more videos as, as I have more to show also as always. So uh, yeah, until then, goodbye. That was the wrong stop button. I hate when I do that. I could leave the stop. It looks the same.